second age of freezing. When it rains, it pours. So, the question for you. How do you anticipate spending your retirement? How long do you expect to work? Until 65, 70, continuously? Or are you going to retire? Do you have a pension? Are you expecting to, at some point, live in a nursing home? Do you know how much those things cost now? I know some people say, well, we have too much of the welfare on nanny state. We have too much of this social security stuff that people are getting too much of a free ride. Well, and then they also spout the words personal responsibility. So, to those who believe they are personally responsible, so what, what's the secret? Do you have a savings account? Do you have stock? precious metals, commodities, land. Just curious what you have. Because to me, a lot of those are very vulnerable. Things such as savings accounts. We now know that government will just dip in and take it. We now know that executives such as an MF Global, could just dip in and take it. Those folks probably were stocks and securities and other forms of assets. And to me, it's an frontal assault on, on capitalism. Capitalism implies capital. You know, or you put money in a savings account. You only get 0.25% interest so that's actually a negative return on investment given the rate of inflation, given the rate of increase in the money supply. Given the rate of increase that banks can increase the money supply by issuing more debt. Capitalism implies capital. But we have is something different and new, or it should rightly be called debtism. Debtitalism. Well, debtism, where you think that debt is assets. So the idea is that the poorer you are, the richer you are, or something like that. So if you're, you know, a few thousand dollars in debt, you're in trouble. But if you're a few billion dollars in debt, well, you're enough, you have a lot of friends, so to speak. To me, that would seem to almost be the victory of the Bolsheviks. That instead of having all these stupid revolutions, they simply said, well, capitalism will destroy itself. You can turn it into debtism. So, very simply, they just turned everything on its head in order to supposedly pull in all the assets to themselves and leave you holding paper. Paper money, paper stock, paper bonds, paper equities. Or you get rid of Social Security someday because you think that you're personally responsible and discover that all those equities and savings and whatnot are worthless. And then you would have wished that you had some Social Security and that had been shored up to account for the proper inflation. But now you're going to have to be like all the other penniless, indigent old people and probably have to throw yourself out in the street with the other 200 million when the time comes. Well, I'm just throwing these ideas out there. I mean, how would you see it? You could mark in the comments below and give me your perspective on the issue. So until later, We'll be seeing you.